Imagine giving yourself a competitive advantage, one that gets you known as the go-to expert in your community. Hi, I'm Deirdre Van Nest. Welcome to Crazy Good Talks TV for advisors, agents, and experts. In today's episode, you're gonna learn the biggest mistake many presenters make at the end of their talks. Whether you're delivering a keynote or a talk to bring in business from the back of the room, you want to avoid this at all costs or you risk derailing the entire presentation. This lesson comes from step seven of the Crazy Good Talks blueprint. Never, ever, ever end your talk with a Q&A session. Surprised? Now, I know you might be thinking, uh, Deirdre, I just gave my talk last week and I ended with Q&A. Or, I just saw an amazing speaker and they ended with Q&A. Yep, conventional practice is to end with a Q&A and it's wrong. Why? Q&A is the diciest part of your presentation because you're giving the audience control. You've seen this happen where a presenter ends with Q&A and some person asks an off-topic, too personal, or even snarky question and all the energy just leaves the room. You can feel it. You did all this great work in your talk and that's the energy people leave with. You don't want that. Instead, you want your powerful, inspiring, motivating words to be the last thing your audience hears. So that begs the question, where do I put my Q&A? Here are three options. Option one, don't do a Q&A session. That's right. It's your talk, and in most cases, you call the shots. You don't have to include it. In fact, if you're giving a talk to bring in business, some experts will tell you it could lower your conversion rate. But if you're like me, and Q&A is one of the favorite parts of the talk for you, you can do options two or three. Option two, offer a Q&A at the end of each point and make it just about that point. So if you have three points, there will be three mini Q&A sessions. Option three, hold your Q&A session after your last piece of content, but before you make an offer for your services and go into your closing. If you're making an offer to bring in business, this placement is really important. Don't put your Q&A session after your offer because you want to make sure your offer is one of the last things they hear from you so they remember to take action as soon as your talk is over. Regardless of which option you go with, be sure to let people know up front how Q&A will be handled so that you maintain control and set expectations. To help you do this, today's bonus is a guide on the exact words I use to set expectations in each scenario. So to get it, go to crazygoodtalks.com forward slash bonus and the number nine. See you next week. And for now, be blessed and make it a crazy good day. Two bunch times. It's going to be cool. And then you didn't answer. I'm like, I need to know. Is it going to be cool? <laughs> <laughs>